contest could go either way because John is facing a very determined opponent. She's arranged to meet a sunglasses dealer at the Museum of the Royal College of Optometrists. You're just too good to be true. Catherine's hoping to sell him the four pairs of sunglasses she bought in Paris. These are all very safe styles. Very nice. I mean, the aviators, the wayfarers are always styles that go good. Now, I've got two pairs of wayfarers there. Mm -hmm. Um, I, you know, they, they, for me, they evoke, um, that, that movie star look, really. Of course, uh, first made famous by, uh, Audrey Hepburn. Bosch and Long, they make, uh, fantastic lenses. They made fantastic lenses, of course, and, uh, yeah, and they have the B&L, uh, sign on the lenses, which, uh, tells us they're original. And we've got these sort of slightly jazzy, groovy coloured mm -hmm. ones, yeah. yeah. Great, uh, great pick for these days, because the colour is, uh, back in fashion. These pairs could be early 70s, maybe maybe uh, before, and uh, there are quite a few scratches, so I would say the lenses should be changed on these, but uh, I happen to have a few vintage lenses, so a few vintage original Bosch and Long lenses, so All right. I think we can bring them to original form. Another thing you can look out for is the crooked Yes, it's slightly, the, certainly the arms, uh, the hinge there is yeah. a little floppier mm -hmm. than it should, should be. But these can all be uh, tightened up and because it's acetate, with, which is a uh, flexible material, we can just heat it and uh, bring it back to its whole mm. form, so Great. that's the beauty Good. of it. And my yeah. last, uh, these are my favourites actually, I had a number of people putting these on after I bought yeah. them. Going, can I buy this from you now? Yeah. No, now I've got to take them back home. Yeah, these are a very nice design. Actually, the unusual thing about these are the are the design on the front. These uh, the checker is going on here. It has it has moments of Miami Vice about it. Yes, it does actually. Don Johnson. Yeah, he actually did wear a pair of careers in in the eighties. Almost everybody. Yeah, did have a pair of career. So yeah, yeah, these are always a pair that can go and uh, I think they will all uh, sell pretty well. I'm, uh, congratulations, you've made a great selection. Excellent, I like the sound of that. Well, this all sounds very promising, but before she gets down to business, Catherine takes Fidel outside to try on the sunglasses. It's a bit cloudy. <laughs> Having tested the shades out, can Catherine see the deal? Remember, she bought them for just under £123. I was thinking in the region of about £230 for all four. For all four. There's going to be quite some craftsmanship going into this. You see there's uh, some scratches here that we're going to have to polish out. And the lenses are going to be changed on a few. So, uh, yeah, I would have to ask for... 180 possibly? I would really love to settle on about 200. All right, I think that sounds like a good bargain. Okay. I can do that. Perfect. That's a deal then, shake hands on. So thanks to a good deal, Catherine's in the money, banking just over 77 pounds for the sale of her vintage designer sunglasses. And there's more good news when she...